organizations out there and beyond those that I just mentioned in other parts of the world, like uh, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. These are, are very dangerous organizations and they had links to Al-Qaeda, but they operate with a significant degree of independence and, and they're still very much alive and well. And uh, you, uh, let's take this discussion to the continent of Africa now. Uh, you know, we, uh, most of us people in the world, all over the world, when they talk about Bin Laden, they're thinking of September 11. Uh, but there has been a lot of activities by Al Qaeda in Africa. Ambassador Sheen, you have written so much about this. Can you tell us more about those activities? Well, yes, there, there's a very long history of Al Qaeda uh, in uh, East Africa and the Horn of Africa. In fact, um, Al Qaeda moved its headquarters, began moving its headquarters from Afghanistan uh, to Sudan in 1989. Al uh, Osama bin Laden himself actually arrived in Sudan in 1991. He was asked to leave in 1996 by the Sudanese. During that time, however, they were very active in uh, setting up cells in Kenya and Somalia, uh, doing some, some initial work for trying to set the stage for future uh, terrorist attacks, which they pulled off, of course, in 1998 with the bombings of the embassies in Dar es Salaam uh, and uh, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were a number of attacks after that. So Al Qaeda was very, very active in that period. But if you look at the last couple of years, Al Qaeda as an organization has not been particularly active in that part of the world. It has been uh, associate organizations, Al Shabaab in the case of East Africa and the Horn.